In this video, I'll review some of the third-party applications on Windows Phone 7. One of the common ones is Fandango. Let's see how fast this loads. It's on my data connection. So the app opened up pretty quickly, and here comes the movies. Let's open up Skyline. That loads in really quickly. You can watch a trailer. and the buffering isn't bad at all. The quality actually looks pretty good so far. It's nice and widescreen. Of course you could use the kickstand here on the HD7 to prop it up. <laughs> so that's Fandango. You can check out the Show times, and I'll load in your show times. Park Place 20, fan reviews, critic reviews, tweets about it even. You can look at recent tweets, and then the overview. So, right now I think that movie's too new to buy tickets. Maybe if we go to this one. Now we should be able to view showtimes. There's the showtimes there. You can look at those. Unfortunately, it looks like you can't click on the theater to get the location of the theater. It'll, of course, let you buy things. And you can't click on that address to go to the address of the theater. So you'd have to use Bing to do that. Which isn't bad. You can look at your movies right from movies you can view movie results right from Bing and then that'll give you the actual addresses of the theaters at least but let's go back to the third party applications other than Fandango oh one thing to mention so when you're in a third party app and you're looking at something inside the application. Um, unfortunately, applications do not cache your data yet, so you have to reload the data once you open the application again. And Fandango is failing us right now. That's not looking good. So, <laughs> there it goes. It's just taking a while to load. So, you're viewing this, and then you get a text message or something, and you do something else. It's like typing out a text message there. Okay, now you can go back, and then you can go back again, and it should be able to resume your application, and it resumes it right where you were. So, it doesn't have multitasking, but most apps can resume to your last location inside the application. What else is there? The YouTube, the official YouTube application isn't even an application, really. It allows you to view YouTube videos, but this application just links you to m.youtube.com absolutely nothing special at all but there is a different third party application created by another user which actually adds an interface to YouTube so it adds a nice interface there and you can search through it and it's actually pretty fluid um... There's applications like Adobe Reader, so you can open up PDFs when people email them to you. And there's applications from HTC, which other people won't have if they have like a Samsung phone, like that. There's a flashlight, so you can actually use your 
LED light to illuminate. Um, this is another third party application. Gets your fuel mileage. Loads up pretty quickly. I haven't done anything with the application yet. Um, there's games, of course. So you can open up games like Unite. So here's the load speed on this game. It's a pretty basic game. It's just like, um, I forget what they call those games, but it's where you tilt the device to roll the ball together. So tap to start. It's okay load speed. Not the best. But then there's the application. And in this one, you just have to connect the balls together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so you can... So say you leave this game, and you answer a text message, and then you go back. You can still resume your application, your game, right where you were. And you won't lose your game. It's right back to where you were. So that comes in handy. Um, I can has Cheeseburger created their application, of course. So you can load up your LOLs. Recent LOLs. Look at your cats. Etc. Load times are pretty decent so far. IMDB, it's a pretty nice application. Loads up pretty quickly. Has a really nice interface. Scrolling is really fluid in this. Facebook, however, there's an actual Facebook app instead of just using the What's New feed in your People Hub. In this application, it takes a while to load. It does not cache your data, so. It has to load it fresh every single time. And once you're loaded in there, scrolling is really choppy right now because it's still loading the data. Heck, it's barely in scrolling. So it makes a world of difference. And that's still pretty choppy. It's not nearly as smooth as other applications are. Hopefully that can be fixed. And let's see how fast the resume speeds for the Facebook app are. So it takes its sweet time to jump back into the application. It's a bit slow. And then it's still choppy and it has to refresh again. It's not a good experience yet. Mm, there's, of course, stopwatch apps, start, but you cannot leave the application and then come back. It will have, oh, so this is actually an example, I stand corrected, where you can have your stopwatch running, it's at 18 seconds. We went to the home screen, did something here, responded to a text message. And then we go back to the application, and it's still running. So there's an example. It's not really multitasking more. It's more of a resume. But it definitely works for what the user needs. There's some applications that won't do that. However, like this steak cooker thing, where you select your steak, start, and then you start cooking, and it tells you, how to time it, and that's going, it was at 1957, yada yada, and then we go back to the application, it didn't even actually let us go back to the application, so the, some applications don't feature the resume capability, 
it's kind of hit and miss there. A nice application is the lyrics applications, which can actually integrate with your music and it'll find which song you're listening to right now. Or like if you want to play one, two, three, four, you can start playing it from the application. Just click play. And it'll play it from your collection and show you the lyrics. So that's really nice. Those are some examples of some really great applications from the marketplace and some applications that are lackluster. But overall, the third-party applications are looking really great. There's a nice mix of free apps and paid apps, and you can always uh, use a trial on the paid apps instead of just throwing your money away. And that's the Windows Marketplace.